Investment Strategies for Young Professionals How to Grow Your Wealth in Your 20s and 30s Have you ever questioned why some people appear to amass fortune with ease while others find it difficult to make ends meet? Is success only a matter of luck, or do such people have a proven formula? Here's the answer. It all boils down to making your money work for you. Today, we're going to reveal some investment techniques that will help build a profitable portfolio with your hard-earned money. Come learn the secrets to achieving financial independence in your 20s and 30s with us. Strategy 1. Setting the Foundation It's time to take control and start your journey towards financial success. First and foremost, setting up a budget is similar to having a roadmap. You can tell where your money is coming from and going by doing this. List all income sources in the beginning, including your wage, side jobs, and freelance employment. Decide which expenses are important such as rent, utilities, groceries, and which are not, such as entertainment, eating out, shopping. Be sincere with yourself and get prepared to modify your behavior. Understanding spending patterns begins with tracking expenses. To monitor and categorize costs, applications or spreadsheets can be used. You can find locations to make cuts and increase savings with the aid of this activity. For instance, your daily trip to the coffee shop or internet shopping binge can reduce the ability to reserve money. Saving diligently is another thing to discuss. Individuals must continuously set aside a portion of their salary for savings. Simply having a budget is not enough. At least 20% of their earnings should go towards funds. The more you can conserve, the better. Preserve money as if it were a necessary expense, just like paying bills. For consistency and ease, think about setting up automatic transfers to different bank accounts. With this, we have finally set up our financial foundation. Up next, emergency fund. Now let's talk about the importance of building an emergency fund. Having a financial safety net can provide peace of mind and shield us from money problems because life is full of unanticipated turns and twists. A designated sum of cash set aside particularly for unforeseen circumstances is known as an emergency fund. It serves as a layer of protection to pay for unexpected costs like urgent medical care, auto repairs, or lost income. If you lack a reserve for emergencies, you might find yourself borrowing money or using credit cards excessively, which might lead to getting trapped in a debt cycle. Wondering how much you should try to put aside for emergency situations? Here's an idea of it. Keeping three to six months worth of living expenses in savings is a reasonable rule of thumb though the appropriate amount will depend on your particular circumstances. This includes necessities like utility costs, groceries, mortgage payments, transportation, and insurance. Maintaining a convenient emergency reserve is very important. When you need cash, there should be easy means of getting it. Think about keeping it in a money market or high-yield savings account, which both provide easy access and give higher interest rates than typical deposit accounts. Building your emergency fund can take some time, but the peace of mind it provides is priceless. On number three, we have time is your greatest asset. Get ready to unveil the incredible power of time and compounding with us. You have a secret weapon in your arsenal as a young professional, time. Individuals can take advantage of compounding and put themselves up for long-term financial success by beginning the path of investment early. What precisely is compounding then? Well, compounding refers to the idea of receiving returns on both your initial investment and any growth or interest that has accrued after that. It can be explained simply by comparing it to a snowball that is rolling down a hill while accumulating more snow. This means that your money can grow tremendously over time, depending on how long it is invested. Now, let's talk about the various financial options that are open to you in your 20s and 30s. A retirement account like a 401k or an individual retirement account IRA, is one of the most popular and easily accessible choices. Depending on the type of account, these offers provide tax benefits including tax-deferred or tax-free growth. Take advantage of the 401k matching contribution program if your workplace offers it. In essence, the extra payment is free money. It's comparable to receiving a bonus from your job for retirement savings. Time is an invaluable asset, so by starting early and utilizing the power of compound interest, you can easily build up wealth over the long run. Moving on, we have developing a different portfolio. 
Buckle up as we unlock the secrets of diversifying your investment portfolio. A strong technique that can reduce risk and increase possible rewards is diversification. You may improve the stability of your portfolio and seize growth opportunities by spreading investments across several asset classes and industries. First, let's examine why it is important. Investment types vary depending on the market environment. You may lessen the effect of any one investment on your entire portfolio by diversifying. If a particular fund underperforms, other ones may make up the difference, protecting your money. Stocks, bonds, cash equivalents, and alternatives like real estate or commodities are among the primary asset groups. Each type has distinctive qualities and responds to market situations in a different way. If, for instance, all of your holdings are in technology stocks and the industry as a whole has a downturn, your portfolio may see significant losses. One can lessen exposure to sector-specific risks by spreading money across industries including finance, consumer goods, and healthcare. Exchange-traded funds, ETFs, and mutual funds are both effective diversification tools. You can expose yourself to a variety of equities or bonds by investing in a single mutual fund or ETF. Consider factors like fee ratios, past performance, and the investment philosophy when choosing these tools. Search for programs that fit your goals and have a track record of generating reliable results. Keep up with business trends, economic data, and financial news that may have an influence on your portfolio. This way, young professionals can make wise selections and change their investments as necessary by remaining informed. Last but not the least, consulting a financial advisor. While taking control of your own money can be liberating, expert guidance can offer insightful information that will help you make prudent decisions. Let's investigate why young professionals should think carefully about consulting a financial counselor. First of all, they contribute experience and understanding. Experts in this field comprehend financial markets, investment goods, and strategies in great detail. They have the skills necessary to evaluate your economic situation, determine your goals, and create a personalized investment plan. To develop a thorough financial plan, professional advisors will consider your income, expenses, assets, liabilities, and risk tolerance. They offer help through the process of preparing for retirement purchasing a home, or making decisions regarding other life events. Individuals are frequently prone to emotional biases and illogical choices. An objective viewpoint from a specialist can assist you in making decisions that are based on long-term goals rather than short-term market volatility. It's crucial to think about a financial advisor's credentials and training before hiring them. Seek out experts that have qualifications like Certified Financial Planner CFP or Chartered Financial Analyst, CFA. These titles signify a high level of proficiency and conformity to professional standards. Take into account the advisor's background and track record. In order to determine their level of achievement and contentment, request referrals or testimonials from their customers. A qualified consultant should be able to offer advice that is specifically tailored to you and have a strong understanding of your unique needs. Remember that while a financial advisor is a partner in your economic path, you ultimately have the last say. There isn't a standard approach for investing. Your particular situation, risk tolerance, and objectives must all be carefully taken into account. Spend some time analyzing your financial status to decide which options best support your ambitions. Even though starting to invest in your 20s and 30s may seem frightening, it's a good time to begin accumulating wealth. Always keep in mind that the decisions you make now will affect your financial future tomorrow. Are these strategies helpful? Let us know in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.